Welcome back. In this video, we're just going to go ahead and configure the Cisco Security Suite. Since we already configured our individual apps, there shouldn't be much work here. So after you've already installed it, this is just basically piggybacking on the other apps that we've already installed at this point. So you would click on Cisco Security Suite. You would continue to Apps Setup page. And it just basically asks you which, which apps we're going to be using with, with this. So we're using ICE. Um, if we have the IPS uh, dashboard installed, we can go ahead and do so. In this case, I hadn't uh, set it up. Um, I can go ahead and download it separately, but for now, we'll just go ahead and keep uh, click on it to enable it. But we'll go back. We can go back and install it. It's basically the IPS dashboard if we want to do it. The um, Sourcefire dashboards we're going to ignore that because it's based off of the uh, the old eStreamer app. So we just have to get the uh, IPS one, which can download now. Actually, I'll just ignore that for now. So with that, I'll go ahead and click Save. And it should pull up the pre-made dashboards for, for this app. So you can see from the Cisco Security app, it's got a lot of nice visualizations. It's combining data from everything from the iOS data that you're sending for the for the Cisco network app, ICE syslog data, eStreamer, ASA, everything it will send towards it for the Cisco data. It's going to look at everything. Uh, you'll notice that in some of the visualizations, it'll say um, it'll have a little error. It'll say event type doesn't defi isn't defined or doesn't exist. We didn't enable the ESA app, and um, it still has it in the script, so it throws an error, but it still allows you to do s searches for, for it. You can do a profile of an IP and look for a specific IP address that's on your LAN if you wanted to, or see if it's communicating uh, outside, you know, just kind of do a little forensic data. Um, let me go ahead and pull up uh, an IP address, and we can kind of like, pro you know, quote unquote, profile it. So let's, uh, let me log into this device really quickly and find out what IP address this is and try to, you know, some of the apps will try to connect to the cloud, for example, and we should be able to see something from this. I'm going to do IP config. So it's 106. So let's do a search for 10.1.100.106 and submit. So we can see traffic starting to come from that data. We're seeing it from Cisco ASA so far. Um, let's say we want to profile, do user tracking. Let's do the internal IP address first and see what pulls up. Okay, so we see eStreamer data coming from for this. Um, we have eStreamer data so far, so we can see get a little bit more information on that. Um, we want to run some reports for client logs and, and other things we can do so from here. We've got quite a bit of dashboards as you can see. A lot of them are uh, are uh, related specifically to IPS. Some of them are related to e ESA as well. There's a lot, but since we're not using the ESA to send any data here or like the WSA for example, some of these might not be applicable. So you don't necessarily want to go there. For network security, this is more like some of the uh, I, you know, the firepower events, but also um, you see here, these are like the, a, the LINA level syslogs that we're sending through. So in this case, we see a lot of the connection events, um, top protocols, destinations. Uh, and this is, I believe is looking specifically at the Cisco ASA event firewall. So a lot of the ASA stuff. Um, you can also do event searches. These are, you know, the eStreamer eStreamer data, so you can kind of have that pull up. And in this case, since we don't have the old uh, the old app install uh, running, it might not show some of the stuff. So let's try to go and dig into some of this other. Yeah, in this case, um, let's see here, <laughs> still showing a ESA stuff. Say flow summary. See if anything pulls up from that. 
You could probably go into the lo into the files and just change the source type from the old eStreamer to the, the new one, but I'm not going to really worry about this in, in this lab, but you have the ability to utilize these dashboards if you do so. Um, the ICE dashboard as well, you can see everything from the ICE app and kind of dumped into here. Um, also one thing I, you know, you can do is you can turn on and off dark, dark themes for a specific dashboard. I like to, I'm a big fan of, uh, of, uh, dark themes anywhere I can get them. So just be aware of that. So as you can see, we've had the Cisco ICE app running for a while. So we see a lot more authentications and other things. Um, a lot of these dashboards you can see from the ICE app. The beauty of using it for the Cisco Security Suite is that Cisco C Security Suite uh, gives you a way, to, like one da one app, to like look at multiple Cisco security products and uh, utilize like information from, say, the uh, some of the iOS iOS devices as well. So and kind of make dashboards based off of that, uh, specific to security events. Um, the only thing disadvantage with the Cisco security app is that it last time it was updated based on the the Splunk based website is 2016. So that's why it's not really updated for the new for the new uh, Cisco eStreamer Encore app. So there might be some fiddling that you need to do to kind of get this to, to work. Um, you might have to change for like for example in this I, the Sourcefire, IDS uh, dashboards. Obviously, this is still configured looking for, you know, the old uh, the old uh, source fire uh, logs and stuff like that. So you might have to edit this to make sure that it's it's tracking the the correct source. So with that being said, just wanted to kind of show you the Cisco Security app. Does it, unlike the other apps that we've configured so far, this one might take a little bit more massaging to make it work. But once it's fully populated power is that you don't have to sit there and bounce around to a bunch of different apps to see the same view. You can kind of have it consolidated to that one app. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and thank you so much for watching.